Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. And the shocking news from Spain is that Otanak will leave Hyundai at the end of 2022. With only one round left, Japan will be his final drive. It's a very shocking piece of news. I just presumed that Tanak would be there for a few more years. It doesn't feel like his career has been that long, but he did start very young. I think the first thought was, where will Tanak be in 2023? Because he has previously driven for Ford and Toyota. And I'm sure both teams would love to have him back, especially Ford right now. I think they could use someone like Tanak. But what Tanak himself seems to have suggested is that he's going to take a step back from the WRC in 2023. Hopefully we'll see him in something. He'll probably do the OGA load thing and turn up for a few rounds here and there. It's disappointing that he never got his second championship, but the fact that he was the one who ended OGA's long run of championship wins means his championship in particular is very, very special. Um, I'd like to see him do something like World Rallycross as well. Maybe Extreme E or Nitro Rallycross. I mean, there's so many competitions out there that he could potentially have a go at. And I think Octanak is a name that would get noticed if he turned up somewhere else. As for the rally itself, the Spanish rally was not the most interesting in the world. But Seb Ogier, part-time driver in 2022... He took his first win of the year, and quite emphatically as well. It's strange seeing older drivers coming back, winning rounds. It does take the shine off the younger drivers somewhat, especially as this was Calais Wavrampera's dominating year, where he has been spectacular. But Sebastian Loeb's taken a win, and Sebastian Ogier's taken a win. And if they can walk away from the WRC and just turn up every now and again and sort of give everyone a good thrashing, it's a little bit embarrassing. I don't think it should be that simple for them. Loeb could have won in Greece as well. It was He was doing amazingly well there and it was mechanical failure that stopped him. And I think Ford especially... They need something. I don't think their driver lineup is right. Gus Greensmith crashed again at this rally. Although Adrian Formal did finish and finish in the points, although only 8th. Craig Breen, I think he finished 7th. Should have been higher, but he made a mistake and hit a wall again. We've seen that too often from him this year. There needs to be a mix-up at that team. And... By the looks of it, Toyota are going to have the same lineup next year, and why not? Because it's been so successful for them. Robin Perra looks almost unstoppable. If he can carry this form on into the future, I think he's going to be the next multiple time world champion in the WRC. And looking at everyone else, there's not really anyone there to stop him. Elflin Evans is a good driver, he's very consistent. I've never considered him championship material. I think he was very unlucky not to win it in 2020, but I also think he was very lucky to be in contention in 2020. And their other drivers sharing the drive with um, Ezepeka Lappi and Sebastian Ogier, obviously they're not going to be competing for the championship. And Takamoto Katsuta is not ready for that kind of thing yet, and I'm not 100% sure he ever will be. It's nice seeing him there, and he's having a very, very good season, but Katsuta is very much the fourth Toyota driver. At Hyundai, Newville, he's never won it. He's never won the championship. He's finished second so many times. And again this year, he looks like he's going to finish third. I think he's 21 points behind Tanak. So, I mean, really, Newville needs to win and Tanak not finish. That's the simplest way for Newville to get second. And, I mean, there's some play around with the power stage points, but it's unlikely Newville's going to get second in the championship this year. So it's another miss for him and Hyundai in many ways. And they've let Oliver Solberg go. He won't be driving for Hyundai next year. I wouldn't be surprised to see him turn up in a Ford. Again, Peter Solberg raced for Ford at one point. So 
there is a link there. And Solberg, he's very hot and cold. There has been some very good Oliver Solberg performances, but he's again not been consistent and he's had far too many crashes like a lot of the young WRC drivers. So to replace Newville, honestly, no, to replace Tanak, sorry. I'd honestly go with Andreas Mikkelsen, who has been making a lot of noise about wanting a WRC drive. And he's good enough. I don't understand how he's had so little chances at the top level in rallying. And he's last year's WRC2 champion. He's going for it again this year. He's raced for Hyundai before. I think that's the easy answer. And you still got Danny Sordo in the third car. I mean, I think they should have a younger driver sharing it with him. And you've let Oliver Solberg go, so I'm not sure who else would fit the bill for that. I mean, there's no one... There's a lot of youngsters who are good. Lindholm, I think, is one of them. Uh, Eric Camilli as well. Good drivers. Probably wouldn't mind a shared drive in the third Hyundai. They should probably have four Hyundais because Toyota and Ford have four cars, I think. Um... Was Pierre Louis Lebert driving in the Ford main team? I forget. For Ford, I mean, it's difficult. Craig Breen, he's a good driver at times, but he does struggle to finish rallies. And when he's the experienced head leading the team, which he technically has been this year, I don't think he fits that role very well. He just struggles to put results in and get the car to the finish. As for Adrian Formau and Gus Greensmith, they both crash far too often, especially Formau. Pierre-Louis Lebert is pretty good. He's had some good results this year, and I think he looks quick. I mean, I think they should probably go for Oliver Solberg. I think they should stick an offer in for Tanak. If they could... I would say swap Craig Breen for Elflin Evans. Again, Evans has raced for Ford, so there is a link there. Although, would Evans want to leave Toyota? I seriously doubt it. But he would have the consistency to help develop the car, which I think Craig Breen lacks. Sebastian Loeb turning up every now and again and driving really well and getting good results is great. So, have him in a shared car with another youngster. I don't think that would be too bad a team for Ford next year. Craig Breen, Pierre-Louis Lebert, Oliver Solberg, and then Loeb and maybe Camille in the fourth one. I don't think Formau and Greensmith are ever going to be major players in the World Rally Championship. But yeah, this was just a quick video to talk about Tanak, really. Um, I am very disappointed to see him go. I think... He's still competitive. I think he's got his mojo back this year. I think 2021 shook him. It was a bad year and he lost. I think that did affect his confidence. And he just seems to be getting it back now. And he's walking away. So I'll keep a tab on it and see if anything happens. And maybe Tanak will change his mind and sign with someone. But as it is now, this is Tanak leaving Hyundai. Um... So, other news. On Saturday, I am going to be doing a Halloween live stream on Twitch. Um, so, if you want to drop by and say hello, I think we're playing video games and watching movies and Halloween themed cartoons and commercials and stuff like that. It's going to be a banger of a time. I think we're doing like. I think the plan is like 17 hours or something. It's going to be a long, long stream. So, if you fancy dropping in, saying hello, it's not motorsport themed, but. It is Halloween, so it's, you know, for the season. Other than that, thank you for watching. I'll put a link to the Twitch channel in the description. And remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.